Ja, det fick jag. Bra kan. Oh, bye bye. I have no doubts that you've kind of ended it. Well, it has been quite some time before, uh, since I made it. It's one thing. Uh, the other one, it has been made before the health system. It has high ratings. It, had, it does. Indeed, fair by our local lion tamer. <laughs> I think he has the most fluffy lion. Also, all. Why it's no lion? Yeah. Not gonna hijack your stream, but do you think I should put a population goal to 10,000 on my lap? Why not? 10,000 is fine, usually. Unless the trade is really low, where you have to labor sponge a lot. If there is a lot of trade, even 12,000 is fine. But any more than that, some people will see 10,000 and they will still scoff at it. But uh, those people, you know. It depends on the map a lot, like, there, there is a map that uh, you could play and it has like 6000 pop and it's too much, <laughs> so it depends. No, the gully shoe is done, so I don't suppose any changes are gonna be made. Alright, let's flick on the cam. And let's take a look. So, this is a map made by myself. It is called Colonia Julia Equestris. I made it at a time for Baron, which is another guy. It's Team CZ3 from time to time, but he likes to play Julius more than Augustus. This map has been made with some Augustus things in mind, but not really the whole system, which is uh, at that point it wasn't a thing. So, uh, first you'll just read the instructions, then you'll take a look at the terrain. So just take a look at it. So the year is 22 BC and Caesar Augustus sits on the throne, becoming the first emperor of Romans recovering from years of civil war. The Roman provinces are understaffed and in dire need of reorganization. This is why the arduous task of pacifying the rest of Helvetian tribes in Raetia at Medosia rests upon your shoulders. The desired outcome of your efforts is to settle a lot of retired veterans in the mountainous terrain and establish a colony that is going to bear the name Colonia Julia Equestris, name which bears the family name of Caesar himself, as it was by his hand that local barbarians were pacified nearly three decades ago. It is not expected that local barbarians are going to be able to muster any significant force to oppose you, but some rebellious tribes are even now vocally opposing any permanent Roman settlements. The site of the city is rich in veins of iron, and the land itself, although rugged, is fairly fertile being capable of supporting wheat and vegetable production. 
The city is supposed to become a bustling trade hub to facilitate trade from Italia and Gallia Transalpina. For this reason, the Senate and Emperor himself will not be satisfied with no less than overflowing treasury and impressive monuments to prove Roman ingenuity of the local barbarians. Take good look at the land available, as any mistake will swiftly waste the slim initial funding, generously provided from Empire's depleted coffers. One last piece of information is that available trading partners are considering increasing the available quota significantly, so smart governor would allocate a lot of denarii on opening as many of these routes as possible, when this surplus allows you as to maximize long-term viability of the city. Additional goals. Grand Temple to Mercury, Caravanserai and Lighthouse with all trade capacity upgrades selected. 150,000 denarii in the city coffers at the end of the mission. Only use auxiliaries or do not use roadblocks. You need to uphold one. I'm gonna only use auxiliaries. And there are some tips. Uh, I haven't played it in a while, so let's read it. A lot of time is available, but be sure to open trade routes gradually. The quotas are sure to increase a lot. Fishing can provide a type of food for patricians. Water is an issue, so you might want to utilize Grand Temple to Neptune. There are some reservoir spots aligned for clay, but they can be hard to see. Pottery offers fair early game prices. Okay. Hey, Omeron, welcome. Hey, Frankie, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna have to read the chat now, so I neglect it a bit. Looks like a very nice map. Yeah, it, it was actually one of my uh, favorites. I'm not building for looks, though. All of this is made for pure function, usually. Like, mm, if you want to make a very tough map with water access, what happens is you have very little water on the map itself. So the only real water is here. Otherwise you have... You can fit a reservoir here. This is your only reservoir spot. And you need to tailor aqueducts to these valleys. And it's dangerous because uh, this is an invasion point of course. So you know, this if they cut this, your entire city that's gonna be here dies because it's connected to this one place. Uh, unless you utilize this place for a reservoir, so you can build around these cliffs, or Grand Temple to Neptune in this valley, or if you somehow squeeze in Casa Block here. I've seen people do it, but it's really undesirable. <laughs> Is this our VLC trade channel? Yes. It should have flotsam. It will happen once we unpause. Uh, also natives. We do have natives on the map, of course. But the trading hut is inaccessible, I believe. Or if it is accessible, oh yeah, it is accessible. It's just very long away, away. So if you want to trade with the natives, the closest warehouse is there. And it's not very quick. <laughs> no farmland, yes. That is farmland. That is farmland. It's just very teeny. It's a little bit here and there, you know? Stuff like that. That is this fertile cliff, covered in natives. Uh, other stuff, yeah, you can have like several farms on these outcroppings. Some sort of deal with this one, it's the native place, but uh, still fertile enough. You can even have, yeah, your initial place, like this is the entry point, this is your exit point. You need to, this is gonna be your caravan route and you need to squeeze in your first block here, preferably. Because you can have one reservoir here, but it can cover this. However, oh, fake rocks? No. It's not fake rocks. It's not that limiting. This map can only have iron, and iron is basically useless apart from making weapons. So if it was marble map, it would be more of a concern. But, uh, yeah. You only need one square for four farms, yeah. That's why it might seem like it's not that much farmland, and it's like on the cliffs it's kinda tight to fit stuff. But still, it is. It has more food than necessary if you go everywhere, it's just gonna, you know. it's None of it is in a particularly great spot for you. That's the deal. So, you know, that's why. Have a little bit of an alcove for our ducks. And yeah, so this is the map. There is some military on this map. It's starts slow, but eventually it will be dangerous, because there are natives, and natives are very fast to come right into your face. So, you know, um, also due to how large the map is, if you build your forts on one side, it's gonna mean that you cannot reach the other very quickly, and there is no like totally great spot to put the forts in. 
unless you want to scupper yourself a lot. I think I'll have to build some forts in these chokes. Maybe try to block some of this off with a fort. That could actually help us quite a bit. If we do it here, we could force the natives to take this upper route, which is longer. Okay, but that's enough of that. Let's take a look at our cellar. Five dinar. Let's drop it to two. Caesar is already angry at me as we start with the third favor. I'll keep this. Try to give it him later. He would try the new XML editing. I uh, wasn't active, but I did read the Discord a bit. Yes. Uh, there is the XML editing It's called Custom Empires. I haven't done it yet. It's pretty simple. It's just an XML file which allows you to do many things uh, which you had to do hex editing for before. Which now is not necessary. But I haven't gotten into that. I've not been making maps recently, so I'm also... I really wanted to wait for a, new, for a UI instead, but it's gonna take years, so I'm gonna have to get into that, but I haven't done that yet. Okay, so uh, first, let's take a look at the trade. We are here in Mediolanum. We have Massilia that buys iron, furniture and pottery. 1200 denarii to open up. Narbo, which buys iron, furniture and pottery. Same sort of deal, but it's very cheap to open up. Capia is a land trader as well. Buys furniture and... Uh, vine. I don't think we can make timber locally. No. So we have to import it. Who sells timber? Massilia sells timber. Right. Capia also sells timber. Great. So, yes, and they would also have... Would anyone sell us vines? Yes. Narbo sells vines and we could turn it into vine for Capia. Tarentum buys weapons and furniture. And that's also one trade route. And then Syracuse is our only sea trade route. No, we have uh, Tinches here as well. And Tinches would buy vine, uh, weapons and iron. Syracuse I would buy iron and weapons, so weapons and iron are gonna be our sea trader at Tinges, actually land, okay. But uh, I'm sure the prices aren't vanilla. I would bet my money on earthquake in the big open spaces. Well, uh, you are right that uh, there is an earthquake on this map, but unlike some people, I actually place my earthquakes uh, strategically to challenge logistics aspect more than ha 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 you die now sort of uh, button you know but that's just my take uh, some of these prices are fairly high but none of it's at vanilla I don't think and it might get worse we also will pay a lot for timber I've tried out the XML editing a bit I enjoy it yeah Fairby did it with his recent map it's clunky, but it works. Yeah, well, I mean, if you get into it, I'm pretty sure I will be able to master it quite quickly since I've been making maps with basically hand freaking tools, like Stone Age technology compared to freaking XML editing. But, uh, you know, I just did so map making is a lot of work and I've been doing a lot of other things. Casual <laughs> major, major earthquake. Yeah. Okay. So we know what we need to do. Pottery first. Pottery and iron. But before we do that, clear this. Build a reservoir. Let's clean this uh, forest. And we need to tailor a block in here. It's not gonna be pretty, it's definitely not gonna be standard design. Because usually, just uh, on my maps, you just cannot get away with standard designs. So it's gonna have to be something pretty hideous. I doubt we will even be able to tax it. But, you know. Most annoying thing is placing the mar markers for things. Getting a city is just the right place, it takes a little while. But you only need to do it once at least, yeah. That's what I imagine would be the worst for me as well. Okay, I think uh, we might have to do a line block. Otherwise, uh, is this enough space 
So if you place that out, it just doesn't add up, does it? We could hug it and then have it like that instead. Which actually might be better, because this would leave a more dead space. Hmm, this is gonna be something. Let's figure it out. Uh, do we have plaza? Yes. We have nice things for once. Okay. That changes things a little bit. I was considering just doing a line block there. Also, that is a native out there. It is easier when you have uh, that picture of the same size, which shows you X and I and Y to place it. Yeah. I'm sure. That does simplify it. I really don't want to make it into a line block. But I think it's necessary. Because there is just no way. Well. Even watering these scopes is gonna be a task. Absolutely cannot afford to have our temples in here. We will have one, of course, and it's probably gonna be series, but the rest need to go elsewhere. Need to leave a gap for that staircase as well, and then temples. Where do we want our temples? Somewhere out of sight, out of mind, hopefully. We can find a place like that. In here is actually pretty good, because, uh, where is it? You want to have a supply post somewhere around here. Yeah, here. Just clean this. in the editor will show the coordinates where the cursor is at. So they thought of that. I'm horrible at remembering numbers like that. <laughs> so it takes a while for me to get it right. Yeah. I'm used to old crutches. Yeah, just always embracing something new is uh, a consideration, to say the least. I will try to avoid it. <laughs> some, at some point you just need to do it. It's like with Augustus. At some point you just need to realize it's time. It's time to embrace modernity. Wild house. Yes. You'll do a theater. I'll actually move this engineer. To the end, as well as the prefect. Actually, yeah, uh, this will go here. I make him mess, but uh, yeah, that's what I want. Should be able to use the rotate button to switch between the different temples. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's handy. I didn't know that. It's actually. Useful. Okay, unemployment. We'll start making some pottery over here. Just clear the tree so 
you'll even make some iron. You'll want to clean everything here, even though it costs money. So you'll need a warehouse as close to this as possible. Actually not. Clay pit. Preferably here would be the good spot to place it. Workshops for pottery. Raw resources, iron. Okay. Engineer. Let's make a better house here. Rotable tap. This is gonna accept pottery and iron. Gameplay, good stories, where the central for PCs at low calculating power. Yeah, that's why the focus has shifted massively from that. Now, nowadays games just cannot make a good story anymore. <laughs> part of it is politics, but part of it is also just, you know, general shift from uh, story and things being a focus and transferring into graphics for the most part. Let's do that. Takes a little bit of tweaking to get this right. We are not in a desert. It feels like the f fountains have a ginormous range. Yeah, memory mis uh, usage is hardly a concern. It's why even like the language it was written in was peculiar, peculiar, right? It was very obscure, so they have to save every, every piece of data they could. So that the memory isn't huge. <laughs> Still quite optimized though. Can run PS Vita. <laughs> yeah. It's an achievement, I guess. This guy is gonna be a pain, I need to remove him. It's gonna be a market. Mm, that sucks, I wanted to water him from there. Well, since we cannot do it, how are we gonna do it? I can't have this one either. I really don't want to build this fountain here, but, well, I don't really have choices in life, so let's just do it. It's gonna be at school. I'm giving them food soon enough. Make a couple of tiles of plaza. Some iron has been made. Let's add another mine or two. Move the middle houses up by a tile. So that is a gap in the middle. Yeah, we could, right? So that is a gap there. Mm, I want this to be kind of open though for carters. Or, um, carters. You know, uh, people. Nobody's betting against me, clearly. I don't know why. Why is it called a bet then? <laughs> Well, I just noticed uh, that we don't have many people betting at all, but the points or the predictions are really pointless. <laughs> mm, pun not intended. Yes, <laughs> happens to lose. Well, that is a uh, point to it. If you bet a little bit, it will win all the winnings. So, you know, that is that motivator. Okay, that should be set up.
I'm thinking about emerging, but uh, no, the shifting, but no. I don't think we want that. Now we make some money, not a lot, but some. We'll need to keep opening up trade routes quick, though. Might even be worth it to go and fill this with population, but no, we need to farm there. Looks like we have enough labor to do that now. So this is not very good. I'm gonna have to try and get, yeah, okay. We can have it like that. So Mark, have you thought about filling the market gap between the Sundays and Thursdays with some Xeno nodes? My studies are suggesting that there is a great hunger and potential in it. Uh, Jerk is playing it with Baron right now, so there is a lot of competition. And Xenonauts is a very RNG prone game. Which is not my kind of game at all. I like to be in control, while in Xenonauts you are never in control of what happens. The decisions you make are also pretty linear once you learn the game. Uh, so it's just you do what you need to do and then just hope that every shot you need lands. Not my kind of game. guy needs to go. Unfortunately, the granary had to be placed in a not really great spot. Maybe we could shift it now. Would that work? No, that would block off this access point. Yeah. Mm. Well, less population it is. Let's hope we can sell some of this soon. Except wheat. Switch which side of the granary is connected to the road, then a house would fit. We could. We could also put this farm more in the back to fit services in there. But life is a pain, I don't want to deal with it. We could also, uh, yeah, it would kind of be worth it, wouldn't it? Because then I could do this. It's just gonna cost me money, but you know. Money is fine. We haven't taken the bailout yet. Like that. Then we can have another market in here, or this a market will be here, and then this is gonna be a house. Couple more tiles of plaza. <laughs> they hate it. It's the tent span. They hate. It's okay. We should go into that or take the bailout rather. And just use this upper area. There's clay up here. Uh, what you need to do though is uh, pacify the native. There is no way to mine the clay anywhere else. So you can only fit a single clay pit. But it's guarded. So let's just make a mission post. Evil hidden spot over clay. I mentioned it in the instructions, and yes, it is very evil and very hidden. 
come on, cheater, give me money. Which was money. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was very pathetic amounts of money, but money nonetheless. We just made some profit, so we should be good. This guy's moving back. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to spend money on plaza here. There is no way around that. Hawaiian pizza is gonna save us. Raw materials, clay pit. Make it happen. Workshops, pottery. Yeah, I guess uh, let's just make it here. This is gonna get a little bit <laughs> hideous for my taste. But uh, yeah, let's have it. And then we'll have to figure out placement for this. Uh, this farm actually would block off this part unless you bring the road around, which you could. But you know, I think we could do better. Let's just have it placed a little differently. All of this is wasting money, but it's okay. Let's make a perfect there. It's gonna be a warehouse. It's gonna accept both her and no traders. It's gonna be for local consumption. Which means I'm gonna have to figure out a way to give them freaking entertainment. And that's not good because, you know, none of this is really suitable for construction. But uh, you could have it here. It's just it will leave very small path. But that's generally okay. Once you embrace that you cannot have nice things, you are willing to put up with something that you wouldn't even imagine before. That's how life works. Shift the mission post, I'm sure it's not gonna cause horrible accidents at any point. Okay, Caesar hated that. It's okay. It's okay because we can, in fact, tax these people. It's gonna be a little bit annoying with the desirability around here, which means we all have to do a uh, statue. I, I don't have statues. Okay, right. Well, we have uh, some nice things, but not all of them, which is fine. Gardens are actually fine. And so we're here off road, roadblock, roadblock, uh, temple, temple good, uh, plaza. And now wait and hope we recover the money. You also need to pay them a little more or they will absolutely break down my door and come for me. So it's just something he missed. What have I missed? Oh no. Yes. I am in fact a very stupid person. <laughs> Make mistakes all the time. The initial fiddling around with stuff is usually quite taxing. Why well, the houses didn't evolve yet? So food. Gonna get better. Why not feeding people? That was the idea behind it. It was accepting before, but then I decided to shift this around, so I kind of broke it. <laughs> That's why. Now it's gonna get better again. Uh, garden. We need to get out of debt soon. Caesar is getting increasingly agitated. Send him a gift. Okay. Large castle. And small insulin. Desirability of things uh, is not great. So it's not helping much. But yeah, we are getting better at life. Just need money. I'm just gonna 
I cannot go into that to open up because it's too much. I need to go out of that to go back into that. Also, there's an army coming. I need military soon. That's not reassuring. Do you want support area? I could start it. But I know I cannot because I need to trade it. It's October. He's gonna get pissed at me, isn't he? Yeah, it's gonna be the yell soon. You again. You, are there. you there, yeah. <laughs> hmm. How much would I like to actually be good boy? I cannot. I almost went out of that, but no. It's not to be. Also, desirability is not good. Still not good, I should say. Okay, okay, okay. We went out of that slightly, so we can open up. Uh, I kind of just like... Mm, didn't properly account for how brutal some of my old maps are. I just went here like, yeah, it's gonna be a nice vacation from some of the absolutely crushingly difficult maps. And then, oh yeah, not really. Okay, uh, let's add a warehouse for timber. I need a highway. It, this map wasn't designed for highways. Uh, but a bit high base in mind, I should say, but we could still make him. It's gonna be pretty good. So let's do workshop for furniture. In here, it's not nice, but uh, as long as it works. Trading of iron to Narbo, that's actually useful. Put a timber yard as well. I don't have it. It's clay and iron. We are importing timber. He wants various things and he's very angry. I need to do that and we need to not be in that. Oh no. And guards on top of that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Marikla. Uh, population soon to be zero. What's the temple? Mercury, Mars, and Venus. There. Was Levy's a thing? Yes. It was. You just need to be making the progress even slower, <laughs> I think. But yeah, it, this in fact is sort of fine as a learning experience. We've been here for a, a little time, so, you know. But it is fine, the quota is there, it's just taking a little while and the initial money was swiftly wasted. I think the taxes might actually be sort of a trap early on. It just takes so much to establish it, it's not really worth it. Unless we go out of debt soon, we're gonna be in big trouble. I could make more iron this time, but that would block off the road. 
Let's just wait. I need to wait. I need to wait until we are out of that. What we have in pop is what we have in the rest of the fun. Yeah. No. It's not happy, boy. Okay. 14 favor. It's fine. It's fine unless it immediate death. This is the timber imports. It's okay. It's okay. You'll make money, I promise. Need more iron though. No. <laughs> if Caesar invades me, I'm dead. And I need to make an army ASAP. Okay. Where? I think here? This is like the most threatening spot to get invaded from. And you shouldn't build a housing block in here because it's very close to the invasion point. So I think farms, granary, supply post, fort. <laughs> hey Super, she's welcome. Is the prediction already over? I think it is. It's 30 minutes usual. If nobody betted on the loss, then the points are gonna get refunded. But I think it shouldn't get refunded. I'm totally dead here. <laughs> Most likely. Unless something radically changes, which is something that I don't have much faith in. Currently. Mm, couple of farms. It's fine. Just do that. Okay, okay, there's a native. I almost built on him. But almost, which means not yet. Something done. Wheat. Supply post. We are getting uh, out there with the debt. I will build a supply post somewhere here. And we will be doing a barracks and a fort. And Caesar is gonna immediately go a full on a fort. Could I use one of the forts to block off an access point? There are trees here, so kinda. But not really. No, it's been accounted for. Ah, oh, yeah, the rocks. Just, you know, you wish you could have nice things. But no, you in fact cannot. It's even a radical thought. <laughs> Innovation could always see if it can be cheesed by blocking paths. Yeah, better to get some legionaries fast. No, <laughs> that into efficient Marek. Uh, Marek map happened. So, what happens if you want to nerf efficiency? You build maps like this. But it's fine, it, the stability is there long term, it's just very easy to overextend and like the event scale, mm, the timed things in this map, they are not very beginner friendly on this map. Uh, so yeah, if you don't recover quickly you are doomed basically. But we can do it, we can send him a gift, maybe we can even send him, I can maybe wait for a mediums. It would actually be better. And then hope that we recover this money. I could sell more iron if we had access. Yeah, it looks like the investment is gonna be necessary. I just cannot recover without making more money. So we're just making more mines. So we can sell more iron. Because they do buy a lot of it. It's gonna give us labor as well. Oh, I don't like to see that at all. Please, sh oh no, we cannot shut it off, can we? I can water them from there. And then, you know, we cancel the fountain. And I'm sure. Once they begin merge. Which they may be, well. Oh. Okay. Now we recovered some money, good. 
fort is filling up. Do we have military academy? No, we don't. So we need another fort. But the invasion is gonna happen soon, so... Yeah. It almost works, yeah. Just funnel them up here where I have my structure. That seems like a good plan. <laughs> what can we trade at the moment? Iron and pottery, but clay is very limited. You can sell a lot of pottery. Problem with that is you, you can sell a lot of iron, but it's trash prices because it's iron. Furniture we have to manufacture from timber, which costs us a lot. It's not vanilla price, it's uh, tougher. And then pottery is hard to get because there's clay spot there and there. But that's about it. You cannot play any clay pits around this. And then all the other clay is far from the trade route. It was made for Julius, not for the high cost in, Julius, uh, in Augustus, right? Yes, but it was at a point where I was aware that some people were playing my maps with Augustus. So it's not... Uh, it shouldn't be an excuse at all. This house is bugging me really hard. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do something else. I think they will want desirability anyways, so just give him garden. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with that. It's horrible. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... This is flowing finally, we could even use more... More of this. I think. I hope that nothing will explode. Seems fine. I'm gonna spend some money on highways. Is it wise? No. But I like it. You have access to ponds, right? Would you uh, would look nice there among the houses? Do we have access to ponds, though? Parks. Parks. No, if you don't have statues, you don't have ponds, because they have the same desirability. You know, that would kind of defeat the purpose. That's sad, yeah. but I guess in such a water constrained map it wouldn't really make sense to make a huge fuck off pond just to keep ducks in or whatever, you know, this water is kind of rare for people, not to mention just having it like, yeah, have a ginormous pool. It's a pool of nonsense. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah, move that. Oh no. Oh, that is a gap. That is a gap. And of course. <laughs> yeah. Move. Keep moving. It's not a small one. <laughs> we are in trouble, boy. Mm. That doesn't matter. What matters is we survive. Which you probably won't with this. It's a lot of Axemen and they have a lot of DPS. <laughs> I think that if you remove gardens you will still have one by one statues. Gardens, yes, but somewhat disabled statues. Someone. <laughs> no. I think they will target my housing most likely. Let's see, maybe they will leave. You never know. But this is not looking good. <laughs> yeah. Crunch. 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 Let's let, let's let it happen. They are destroying my warehouse. I think they are targeting gold stores. I have money though, if we manage to survive this attack. Might actually be fine.
but all my economy is destroyed, so you know, that's not very good. Also, this farm is irreplaceable now since it deleted the fertile top. <laughs> it was there. Oh no. Well, oh no, 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 it was a warehouse. It was a warehouse. It was a warehouse that accepted pottery and it didn't accept traders. This was a market. So house, house. Now the fountains are gonna kill me with the uh, mergers. But uh, you know, so it is. Warehouse for furniture and timber. I hope they are not coming back. Just throw the gear in there. Accept wheat. <laughs> At least they can't reach your reservoir, eh? They cannot. That's true. Small blessings and all. <laughs> it was close. It was. Not close, I'm, I was basically dead. So, you know. Uh, not good. Send him a gift. Let's try to recover. Seems like we can. What's about all labor? Okay. We still can accommodate some more. It looks like we could use another farm. This is a stretch for the warehouse, but you know, it could work. Especially if we try to add another one for accepting timber out here. Also accept some iron, I guess. And then we can make this into a highway. It's gonna help. Enemies are closing. We have, oh yeah, still one of the forces city filling, but we'll be making a new one. Ah. I'd like to block this off. Yeah, okay. Now this will work, hopefully. <laughs> the corner was really treacherous. Uh, what else? This is not looking too great with the food now. But we could farm more. Can even have a fountain or a couple here, but it's really not good for coverage. It's two farms, but it's like 700 people, but so I'll take it. Neptun Grand Temple would work uh, wonders here. Yeah, they were the natives. I know, I know that they are natives. Okay, need to get this city going soon. 
I'll have to do another block, but maybe a little bit more money would be useful. I also maybe should open up another trade route. It would buy weapons. We could do weapons. So I'll trade route as well. Couple of workshops for weapons. I know you are unhappy. It's a very expensive route we just opened up, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Most likely, right? It's August. Uh, August. Let's hope we can recover. <laughs> So far it looks like a whole bunch of debt. Not much of this. Wheat. Yeah, I can do that. The troops are eating like crazy, so having a couple extra farms would probably be good. Send him the stuff. Stuff he wants. And then... Yeah, let's hope that we can recover. It's December. Probably next year, yeah. Oh! 200. You have some money. It's actually useful, yeah. Okay. We survived without suffering a huge uh, favor hit. That's good. Okay. Uh, forts. Alright, I, I still don't feel safe. Like, the last attack, uh, last attack was just uh, a little bit too high. I'd say. So let's just add another, another fort and then try to wall this. So there is absolutely no way to come through there. And then we'll have to start a new block if we get money ever. Which we will. It's just gonna take some time. Okay. Unfortunately, setting up a new block is not simple matter. Quite a contrary. It's here, and it's not nice. It's not even a full loop, uh, uh, because it's too long for a full loop, but you have to have it. It's the closest one you can get. So, along this cliff, and then food here. It's a lot of caravans. I'm gonna invest into another highway and Highway there. Because I know something. It's gonna be an earthquake soon. That's it is okay. Just have it like this. Try to keep it as simple as possible. So it reaches the most. This sort of works. Actually, want the passage through there, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's not great. But it's not it's not necessary because we have this opened up. Okay. Some of these spots are probably not gonna stick, so I'm just gonna 
try to place whatever I can. Then we'll see what sticks. Also, gods, I'm gonna just uh, do series again. That box of this as well, that's not good. Uh, it doesn't really matter though. Let's just do it. And then the rest of them needs to go into the dump down here. On this mission, it's usually pretty good to go with some lot AI later once you have a lot of money. I know, that is an attack. He's trading. Even more iron. Just mine it here, but I want this for a highway. That's where the trade is gonna go later. I could just mine iron up here. So I'm not gonna use it for housing, that's for sure. Do we have labor? No. Once we have it, we will use that. So now just try to pack them in. Leave that open, I guess. Okay. Plaza. Fountains are gonna be a challenge oh, there are oh it's placed the engineer there. So I could switch the prefect as well. have a better fountain. Yep, it's pretty decent. <clears throat> this one house isn't covered by anything, that's fine, we can place something else in here. The school would be good. This one is good. Cool design insane. They'll buy a lot of iron. Which we will use. But not yet. Also just remove this road. I'll be placing a granary. In here somewhere, yeah. Let's connect that. Can we not? What I wanted to do is have a market here. I'm gonna have to have it there instead. I could actually switch that position, but it's not too important. Roadblock it off. Roadblock that off. It's a native. Start getting some food. Simplify that a bit. This goes down. It's gonna accept wheat. I'll accept now, we don't want to get. Need a theater. Have a spot in here for something. Oh, Balhaus. We 
they won't spot her eventually, I just don't have a very good mark, uh, warehouse spot. There's a mark at the end of that. Let's check it out. I have an explosion to take care of. <laughs> uh, no, it does not. So that's not good. You can make a shortcut. Just gonna have to come up with a place for a bald house. As I said, this blocking this off isn't actually the end of the world by far. So let's place a market there. House, right? Yeah. Oh, the wolf. Well, let's just make sure. Theater? Oh, yeah, the theater. That's a horrible, horrible place. Uh, we could have it here then. Still gonna retain access to that. People are taking uh, the long way around, which is not great. They cannot reach this now, but space is at a premium, so you can't really choose much. Plexus. Well, that's also not very good. I will just take a temple from the dump. Might as well be Venus. Put her here. This roadblock's gonna allow priests. I also haven't really thought about you know, entertainment. Which is kinda crucial. Uh, so, can we figure out a way to have it? Probably not. I don't want to keep them a small casa. But, uh, it might have to happen. Kinda want to try first of all, Chris, on this map. A lot of people did. because they don't know what's good for them. Forced walkers are a heresy upon this world and never ever should be used by anyone, but, you know. Of course you can if you want. This is tough decisions, but uh, we we'll have to build it somewhere. Also, this theater is not properly reaching the other side, right? Oh, it's there now. Okay. Could make it so the destination walkers cover it, maybe. Move to Venus Temple. Where is it? But no, you need to realize something. Uh, yeah, I could, I could do that. You need an aqueduct through here eventually, you know. So that's uh, crucial. Just gonna build that for now. But yeah, that's your only reservoir that can be moved around. Like, you can actually have an aqueduct coming and going. Unlike with most other things. Uh, it's really not nice. Can we have a temple to Venus now? Yes. So, yeah, you can, just battle it. I'm 
have 12,000. Yeah, the mana is kicking in now. Let's connect it up. None of this. We need a warehouse. Is this gonna work though? What the? Yeah, it will. Right? No, it won't. That's uh, not good. I'll have to build it elsewhere. I'm used to having it here. I don't know how I managed it before, but it's how I have it had it. We'll have some clay in here, I guess. bit of it we can have. Oh, it's just half. Okay. No, we need to figure out how to get a form. Um, it could be here, and then we can allow Taxman come through there and then have a thing here. Not allow anyone else. It's gonna force them to come here. Covers only part of that, it's not very good. I guess I'll switch the position with the temple. This is a lot of fine tuning. Not the biggest fan. Okay, now he makes it, he even makes it all the way around. Because of how that works. Because he becomes a destination walker eventually. Okay, pottery needs to be made and delivered somewhere around here. Still with retain one tile. Space the theater stuff is bad though. Uh yeah sure, let's have it like that. Get pottery for local consumption, don't trade it. Attack. Plaza. Where is the attack from? It's here. Okay. I'd like to actually build the fort in here somewhere, so we can block off the access, if we can. This would actually work. And then they will have to go through here. Slow it down, but let it run. Because I need to see the flags. Furniture, we can give him furniture soon. Also, this thing needs to be let through here and hope that this theater actually does its job. Bald house is there. Similar size. It's actually smaller than the first one, I think. <laughs> to ask your question, yeah, clearly. Well. Hopefully we did hold them off quite well. Now this, we have some unemployment as well, but we need to pacify this native. So we can actually use this farmland, but the problem with that is figure out a way to actually use most of this farmland effectively. You know, the usual medic map things. Well, there cannot be anything in here, only the road could be there. It's kind of 
crucial. That's a farm space. Let's put a roller farm space as well. How do you do it? Do it like that. Chimp. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Jesus, welcome. Thanks for the raid. It's blocked off. Cannot have things there. That's fine. Nice things, yeah. Hey, geez, welcome. Thanks for the raid. What are you playing? Yeah, entertainment. I know. Can't have a farm, so we can't have a gladiators either. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, this. Just bring it to that. Some need for speed 3, okay. Racing games. Full of variety. Uh, yeah, let them evolve. Once they have the entertainment, they should evolve more. Fortunately, we kind of struggle to give them uh, doing the most. Okay, let's just uh, make more pottery uh, down here. It's gonna block the access at some point, though, right? Maybe not. That one, yeah, that corner is gonna kill it. Can't have it. Nostalgia is strong at the moment. Yeah, nostalgia can do a lot. Whatever, very old game. Okay, let's have some pottery industry here then. I uh, kinda used a lot of labor. But uh, that's fine. Effect. Uh, let's do two. I don't trust him. I think it's as old as this game here. Is it? I kind of doubt that. Let's see, it's 1998, something like that. Thinking about yeah, not no traders and a form. We have a form, and he makes it. Okay, good. This uh, is that ability, right? No entertainment. Are you not making it? You will make it. Okay. Well. 
This is full for once. That's good. Night night eight. Okay, so it, if it's the same year, it's uh, as old as this game. Just the best game ever. As Baron likes to say. Let's make this fort here to block a power thing a little bit. Okay, we should still get immigration, right? Yeah, 3,000 people though, so our temples are no longer gonna add up. We have a lot of money though, which means that I will pick a spot. And they'll do some Larari. That's our money, yeah? We have money. It's an unusual thing to have. Marek maps, but we do. So I have to pick a spot where to build uh, lots and lots of Larari. I think here I don't really care about uh, spots for towers. services. It's fine. Several hundred people's worth of guard pacification should be fine. Okay, this works. They don't pay some more wages. Pay more as well. And how many people are moving in still? 800 or so, right. Yeah, they, I guess they were kind of upset at me for some reason. Different. Cannot use this path now, which is kind of sad. Like them to do that. Now this pottery industry should be going, right? Just need to accept it. Gonna put the highways all over the map. Yeah, the map was made before the highways, better thing. But it on this one it kinda makes sense to do that. So we should. Let's take a look at the last uh, the land trader Tarantum. Let's just open it up. Buy more weapons. We could make more weapons. But we need good spots for that. Which we currently don't really have. Just the uh, exit point place. It's probably the best place to do that. But we can't go ham because this is where your patricians most likely will end up being. Some flattest place. Hey Zen here, yeah. welcome. farm spot but uh -oh. don't really need farms here. It's gonna be 10 workshops. Also I really would like to keep you know highway in the middle. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This works. It's not very pretty but it'll do its job. Yeah, I just need to not have that. Then I have a highway instead. In the middle. 
But differently, that's also a lot of wasted money. is 223 viewers uh, followers on Twitch which uh, we don't have very big community at all but I'd say it's one of the more active ones actually in terms of like how, how few people we have but how many people actually do care about a lot of the stuff we do so that's a good sign I'm not like mass viewership was never a focus and never will be because that just requires a different format of content but uh, for what it's worth uh, I'm happy with where we've come for the past year also the YouTube has been uh, growing you may about 10 viewers yeah uh, usually we, we do stay above that if we play Caesar but other games people don't really care all that much which makes sense, I guess. This is where we came from, Caesar, so, you know. I wouldn't expect anything else at all. And I cannot uh, hold it against people as well, because, you know, if you follow a channel because of something, you'll probably come back to the channel for some that something, and if that something isn't served, you are gonna be upset. And that completely makes sense. That's how life works. Okay, I think ROM2 uh, tended to have like 17 viewers for some reason, yeah, yeah, because some people who just watch ROM came by, or Total War in general, like, you know, there are games who have uh, a following, but no, n not many people actually play them that much, and that tends to accumulate some viewers here and there, while if you just play some random game for the Dictator or whatever, there's very little chance that people will actually come to watch it. Which is fine, because as uh, things work, like, you come for something and then you might stay for the personality or sometimes the humor or other things, but if that's not there, then uh, you just, you know, go where the game you want is themed. Expand the mines. I cannot have that there. It's unfortunate, I was thinking that's a place. Let's have a mine there, then. can expand this later. Let's put more. Oh, I'm lacking labor now. How about the box space? I thought we have... Yeah, we have people coming in. It's just taking ages. Let them move in. We will need to do a new block though. And... Uh, can we make... Yeah, we can make mausoleums. We just need marble. Where do you get marble from on this map? C, I guess. Yeah, Syracuse for 3200. Yeah, right. It's gonna be a thing. But first, uh, a block up here, I guess. Would make the most sense. Pretty hideous. 
how the cracks go. <laughs> Not many straight lines, but it works. It's important. Also, this is gonna be a line block. There's no way this these corners are deceiving, they are not buildable. So somewhere over here. Might actually want to do that like this. So we have some logistics here. It's gonna be necessary. Then this has to be curved. I'm not sure how well or poorly it's gonna work. Probably poorly, to be honest. So yeah, no, on this map, a lot of line blocks. It's just uh, not much you can really do to make it better. But I don't necessarily view that as a downside. Sometimes you just want to play something to force you out of your comfort zone this map like that. Because if you come into this map with regular designs in mind, you are gonna be seen off quite quickly. Uh, it does not really favor them uh, at all. Plaza. I'm gonna give them a thing from here. It's gonna be CAs. I need an amphitheater somewhere. It's gonna have to go here. It's okay, let people move in. Earthquake. It's here. And it destroyed my garner. It's not good. Build it upstairs. Uh, let's hope it ends. Oh no. Everything explodes. Okay. But it stopped for weapons. It's also not very good for us. Can be connected uh, through there. Collapsed building, where is it? Oh, this. I guess my engineer is spawning on the wrong side. No, yes, he is. Can we fix it? I don't think we can fix this. I just need to do that and then place a new weapons workshop here instead. Go like that. Okay. Right, this place. So to say, Perbi, does the map seem interesting to you? Uh, I mean, the first attack is really brutal, but then. I, I even think. It was intended for you to lose it, like we talked about how the enemies leave. I must have known that at some point, because it doesn't make sense otherwise. But I've not been into map making or maps where I have to die for a long time, so it felt like I didn't know that. Oh no, where is it? Something here? Oh yeah, weapons workshop. Let's just bring this. Back. Explosions. Oh yeah. I have a prefect, uh, it's just uh, he's not on this side, so that's why. Come on. Extinguish that. Map design seems very tight, just like there's quite a few ways to play it. Yeah, these two things usually aren't. Uh, like, they are usually mutual exclusive, but not so much on this map. You can do many things differently, and uh, you can pick and choose locations a lot. 
that you want to build. A lot of it is gonna happen nearby the entrance point, but uh, if you want, you can build anywhere you want. Which is usually quite good for Barata. People seem to like that. Marka. Let's get a Granare. Let's get a Firehouse. I have to connect to the map, I think. Which is not gonna go well. Uh, the market ladies might go a little bit ape. And just collect stuff I don't want them to collect. You know, sometimes that's what happens. Uh, I'm just gonna have to hope that it's enough and we can deal with it. Because there is no way I'm fitting their own gladiator school and such up here. There is no way. Some pottery. Okay, let's sell it under housing amount. So that's why I recommend it to you because I think you would enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't actually remember the first attack being so brutal. I don't know why I did it. It's probably misguided. Uh, just blocks a very good fountain spot. It's okay. Guard. You need a new guard. It's gonna be Venus. Just build it there. It's fine. Explosion, explosion, explosion. Another explosion. Oh, built two freaking engineers instead of a payfect. I'm getting literally sloppy. That's what, I, what happens when you make other things the whole day. <sighs> okay, arms done. Granada's done. Dispatch is right out, send it. It's the second time this exploded. It's not good. Market is gonna cover them all, it just takes a while. This needs to get wheat. Also they don't get access to school or a library. Thanks for the raid. Let's build this. Weird bits, places where you can also build houses, probably gonna be scupper. Could have it if we uh, move this barber. Doubling down on services for this freaking line block isn't my idea of great, but <laughs> have to have it. Okay, we have money. Uh, we should start doing the seed right now. Let's clear all the trees. Nobody cares about the trees here. Ship's rich. Oh yeah, and you can sell a lot of iron and weapons overseas, but there is no, there are no rocks around here, so you need to pacify the natives or bring the weapons by a l using a lot of warehouses. 
Also, the warehouse locations are really not good. <laughs> okay, let's get a dock on this side then. Uh, can be like that. Just gonna accept some marble. You don't have it yet. Open up Syracuse Eye. Also, a land trader would buy more iron and weapons. Let's do that. It's gonna cost me a lot, but uh, we kinda need it. Accept marble. And I suppose he can get some weapons to sell. Then we do this. No point having any sort of industry in here right now, I think. So just have it, and then we'll be getting marble, clay, and we need timber as well for monuments. Uh, there's some mausoleums are gonna be necessary. Which I have no idea yet where are we gonna build them up in. But now we have our trade route here, so we need to spend some money on a couple of highway tiles. Speed up this process a bit. This is the trade route. enough to help them along quite a bit. These guys just want more food. It's gonna happen soon enough, hopefully. Might need a second market. I wanted to avoid it. Might be too much housing though. Also, I don't think we are taxing them really. Which is hurting. Bunch. Gonna remove one of these. about that one for now. We need to set up the, the, the road so that it's gonna have mines along it. It's the most important part. Yeah, it's fine. That's not too good. So yeah, at least cover those three, that's important. Mines, not clay pits. Mines for iron. check our sea exports because I think that our no, land, uh, land exports rather so I think they dried up Capio no longer buys weapons Tarantin buys 15 
then just buys 15. It's like Perte. We are making way too much. And way too many weapons, and we can cancel some of these. It's gonna be okay. Let's just bring more iron here, which is actually good. Backtracking there a bit. Way too many weapons out here. Need your warehouse, that's gonna get to on the iron. And we will have to scupper some of our workshops here. Gouts are getting this. Give an attack. Position our troops. Shouldn't take any chances. Bring everyone. So we haven't really given him the furniture in a while. I need to do that. Stockpile it. Send him a gift. Not yet. Bigger one. Still not absolutely huge, but uh, might be a problem. What are you missing? Both are I? Yeah, we'll get it. Men are a little dangerous though. They get into their auxiliary and just murder them like nothing. Okay. Start importing some marble. Just a bit. And then, yeah, selling weapons. You just not use this space, I guess. No, let's just get another warehouse that's just gonna get weapons. No land traders allowed. Second dock is kinda bad. This one is acceptable. More weapons. I need a warehouse. It's gonna fix up. Weapons. No traders. This warehouse is also going to get some marble up here. Would the mission post go all the way around if you make a loop for him? I don't know. I don't want to make a loop. I'm just gonna do a second mission post. Just accept it, it's fine. Ah, oh, get timber here. Yeah. Some labor sponging later, anyways, I guess, so probably good for us in the end. Uh, architect work camp mausoleum. Yeah, 
Yeah, and the computer, welcome. Hard things. Things are Caesar. Like they have always been Caesar. And they will always be Caesar. <laughs> Life is secondary, as always. Nothing really interesting to talk about. It's unfortunate. Mm. Better to have uninteresting things than having a lot of stuff you don't want to have. preferable. I don't... <clears throat> I didn't my ass kicked completely in Battle Brothers. I don't know what you m mean by that. If you did or didn't. But yeah, Battle Brothers can be like Xenonauts, RNG prone game. Uh, you can be insanely lucky and have all the good things happen to you. Or you can be extremely unlucky and have the worst kind of stuff you don't ever want to happen, happen to, you know? So it's uh, really up to gods to decide their fate, rather than yourself. Let's make more workshops. They've built the mausoleums, that's good. We also would like the small ones. I didn't get my ass kicked completely by in Battle Brothers. That's good. I didn't think it was your kind of game much. It's quite a serious. You know? If you don't take some threats seriously, if you don't know what to do and don't really make hard decisions regarding money, the game can be absolutely brutal, but then again, probably didn't play on the hardest or better uh, difficulty. Started like random peasants and trading caravans. It just sounds like you. <laughs> Well, I'm sure it went great for you. Or if it didn't, or if it if it did, then wait for your sequel. When you return to that world, people will love it. Can tell you that. Uh, right. What else do we want? We probably just want to do patricians. I maybe no. I just don't have enough. Also, these people, they are not getting enough food. I'll have to make a new market if possible. It's very far, but maybe it's gonna work out. Okay, let's try to get some mausoleums in this path. So it's eight, nine, ten health. It's gonna be one small one. Gonna be it. They can explode, so I have to give them things. But that's fine. There's also an attack point from here, which makes me kind of worried, but uh, maybe it's fine. We just wall this off. I switch them to use the other direction, maybe. There is a staircase here. Oh, somebody, right? Yeah, sort of. Services in here, cover the lot area. It's gonna help us with uh, guard coverage a bit, but the mausoleums should do a good job. 
Hello, girl, welcome. People are not happy. What about housing capacity? It seems like I can almost start working on the patricians, but then I'm gonna simultaneously have to develop a lab area, most likely. Also, this earthquake kind of got close to where I want to build, which is not the greatest, but it's fine. We also are paying a lot of our, our marble. We should really make sure we maximize what we can. I think the key thing here is going to be getting some warehouses. We're going to get pottery to sell to these land traders. So first we do that. No longer looking very good, but uh, still fine. Which will start to maybe get even more marble. Okay, so we have yeah, uh, plus ten health for the from the. Mausoleums that should help us because we are not gonna be able to evolve these guys. It's just not gonna happen. We have some good pottery to sell here. Should help us a bunch. Yep. Caravan Sarai would actually make sense. We do need it for the goals anyway. Mm, where do we want it? I kinda want to build it just here and feed it freaking fish. That's what we are gonna do I guess. I'm not sure. Could also just be here. Yeah, okay. Get this workshop somewhere else. Let's get a granite. It will eat a lot. There are a lot of caravans on this map. gonna be very messy. Not the biggest fan of that. Don't deliver to workshops. And weapons make sense. Increased training of iron ore, vegetables from Syracuse. Mm. So many weapons. How much randomness is there in season 3? Very little. 
the unlinear randomness comes into play when you mm, make a map and you decide what kind of events you put in and then you you, know, you can decide to put in some events which are randomized but most of the game is not at all uh, uh, you don't really play it you don't understand the mechanics so I'm not gonna go into that right now because it's very specific like if I tell you that contaminated water can be very random it doesn't really tell you anything so you know I'm just gonna abstain but uh, there is a element of randomness to some of the events but it's very little compared to some other games it's one of the reasons I like it you can only blame yourself which is always good Medieval uh, and a historical fact. The Romans used salt for garum. Do you know any other food products they created salt? Well, basically, almost everything. It's an ancient period, therefore, the only real means of preservation food of food was uh, with salt. So, everything from. They even made laridum, like that's uh, equivalent of bacon, or even like pure fat, just uh, salt it. They would eat that. And it's like rations for uh, marchers and whatever, even like travelers and merchants and people like that would actually bring dried fruits, salted meats, salted fish, uh, various things like that. Uh, apart from that, like salt was a key component of basically almost every meal. You would have it together with many other things on your table, even a plebeian would have it, even the lower strata, even because the Romans actually didn't have only two strata or even three strata like Caesar, Caesar 4 lies, Equites were not really a cast, so to speak. Uh, Romans had, I think, like 70 strata, but uh, yeah, like plebeians were richer, poor people, basically. But there were subclasses of it which. Uh, they actually, even those, had access to soul uh, for daily meals. Uh, it was also very common for Romans to be able to make salt very easily because Mediterranean, which there's an, um, all around Italia, uh, provided with plentiful sources for um, just sea salt. They all also mined it uh, in some place, but uh, yeah. So basically almost any meal you can think of had some sort of salt in it. Unless it was purely sweet and even then like in modern groceries you would actually have some salt in some of the pastry and whatever. So... Uh, similar to today's uh, standards I'd say. I hope that answers the question. It's very broad though. Oh, okay, what do we do? Capacity up okay, we have to do that because of the map and then we want a lighthouse But it needs timber uh, Okay, let's build it here I will give it timber Get 16 popsicle sticks don't accept traders though Hey Katie welcome How's the map going? It's going well. Interesting, so there would be a lot of possibilities for food if they added salt to Augustus. Yes. <clears throat> it not only for food, but uh, salt was a key component in lots of different things. They even used it in industry quite a bit. Can you build a lighthouse further north by the reservoir of water? You can. Just, uh, you know. I have one already, but you could. You could have it like here or something. <laughs> be kinda hilarious. To guide the land ships. Uh, and then have Caravanserai near the ducks. I uh, tremble at a day when Kerio is gonna say no and decide that all the caravans need to make a physical stop at the Caravanserai. <laughs> uh. I'm sure it's gonna happen at some point. Hopefully not in too near future. Be closer to the wood, yeah. But also it would guide the land ships. 
It's okay. They can get the popsicle sticks. We always have them on hand. It was early design plans? Yeah. But uh, it would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? And then vast majority of maps, it wouldn't really change anything apart from you not being able to really cheese it. But uh, I don't want to advocate for mean things, so let's just abstain. What do we do? People... I don't think this is enough for a patrician block, but uh, might have to try that. Most liability with death mechanic. Yeah, I can I can see that extra thing make it a little more difficult. But you know, if you give it gave it a little bit more of a buff, maybe, and then also have it do the bad thing, might be good, just to equal, um, even things out. There is a visual bug there. It's quite common. I think you know about this one. That's also not the most recent version. Is the one Fairby sent me. Also, we have beautiful, beautiful Kerio place. Kerio loves uh, Larari. It's a Larari cliff. Okay, we have some money. Uh, let's start to design the patricians. It's gonna be pretty horrific. There are rocks all over the place, but this is the best spot to build them in. I also will need to figure out what to do to plebeians, though. I don't know. I think plebs care, but this is like a really bad place. Maybe this cliff, like to at least have it sort of concentrated. The goods are at least kind of close to it, right? Oh, not really. This isn't really helping me, the food is not looking great. Hmm. I don't know what should we do first. I think you can have blobs here pretty easily. A single block that has. So maybe we start patricians and then do that. The Larariae are still viable. Of course I hate. Uh they are, uh, but only on maps where you have a lot of money. You know, <laughs> just remove them from the game. Uh, no, they are not cost efficient at all. But unless unless you run cities who are like hundreds of years old or something, I think like 50 years, maybe the payoff threshold, something like that. But, uh, you know, uh, if you have a lot of money and money is not an issue, but marble is, and you don't want to spam small temples, you might do that. It's not space efficient either, but since the map is big, these two things combined make it into a viable solution, but on most maps, no. You only see them sprinkled in here and there, but not really used, like in the I've old... Heard there are jobs here. Oh, I want to be a lion tamer. Like in the good old times. Thanks for the follow. The good old times of abuse. I loved it. Loved every single second of it. Unfortunately, these times I'm not coming back. Carry is very mean. Uh... <laughs> Doesn't sound that bad. No, you need very specific circumstances to make them viable. Mathematically, always the right choice. <laughs> yeah, those are the good old times as I mentioned. It was glorious. Every city had one. Every single city had something like that. Uh, the verdant hatch. Yeah, right. That's what we want, right? Now we have central map. Paths. I'm so bad when I don't have my regular statue. <laughs> Where is it? Sunlit hedge. Right, so now it's just smart time figuring out patricians. It's, it's not gonna be great. Let's just do that. Beautiful marks, yeah. <laughs> I heard math. Yeah. What are I math? It's always the best kind of math. You only say yes, and it works out. At least that's how it's how it worked before. 
Now it has been utterly ruined by the mean people. They don't want us to have nice things. Need quite a few. Okay. I'll still struggle to give them the desirability this way, but I think this is the limit of how many I can really get. Maybe one more. It's kind of small. As blocks go. So that means we can try to add a couple more. This should be fine. It should allow us to have enough. Okay, need to also start growing vegetables. We should do up here. Natives. Uh, can we steal some of the farmland from the natives? I don't want to deal with them. Okay, we have something here. Yeah, this split is fine. We'll use it also. We should temple spam elsewhere at this point. Good space for that either. Okay. Get an array down here. Vegetables. This thing needs to be moved. Actually, grow vegetables yet, which means that a couple more wouldn't hurt if Caesar asks for it, which he could ask for it in the near future. Split it off, I don't trust it. He also starts fishing, we need to start fishing. Shipyard. Don't need a second duck. Not yet, anyways. If you ever want it, we could do it later. Also, what about the bridge? Could you bridge there? Yeah, better. Granary. So, those are gonna be our three types of food. They will ruin my life. The Marox will be really hard to deal with. Okay, let's start building the logistics center for the patricians. Uh, I kind of want it to be here. But we'll need so many uh, things. Get 
wheat, cat vegetables, get fish. Better look this off. Barber. Clinic. Some guards. You need like four, really. So let's do four. Venus is I'm gonna do five. It's okay. Oh, it's good. The warehouse is going. I also need to start processing some of our goods. I don't have that much. Let's get some pottery in here. I need a lot of warehouses too. So each of them has to have its own thing. What about... Who can sell us things? Olives from Tarentum. Vines from Narbo. So, here or somewhere. That's not great. But we can fit a warehouse. It's actually kind of useful. It's gonna accept vines and vine. Workshop vine. Does that even work? It does. But this does not really work well. I think workshops we might have to give them a tavern. Uh, import vines. That is it. Import. Oil. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. A lot tricky actually. I could just accept and then shift them over here maybe. Only export furniture over 12 units in the city. Okay, how do we do the... I guess one of the better... No, it's gonna scupper my... Timber, or uh, furniture. Hmm. I could just remove some of this highway, I guess. But that's not really good. It's probably the best we can do, though. Could accept some yeah, eight pottery, eight iron, and then sixteen olives. So we can set up a couple of workshops at least. Which one need quite a bit of oil, I think. So let's have that. I think it'll be, so yeah, that's split off. That's good. And an oil needs to be accepted elsewhere. I guess this could accept some oil. Weapons no longer need it, so. Let's do that. The warehouses. Wine, get oil. Oh, yeah, I also need to bring water here. It's gonna be something. Uh, we also used a bunch of labor now, so we'll need to set up the new blood block. So let's open this place up. fertile land but we don't really care I don't think uh, what we care about is just having that uh, easy water access you know we, we do have the water here already so it won't be that difficult to bring it elsewhere as well like here but this is generally not a great position also this native is gonna ruin my day you could have this hell but it's already tight on food here 
So this is just enough. I don't want to fiddle around with that. Mm. This could work as well for a line block. I'm not sure. Or I just use this. Can you somehow squeeze in a whole loop? It would have to be like that. But it sort of works. Just let it fill up. Okay, so the range is there. Which means the last part is kind of inaccessible. Mm, that's not too good. You have to incorporate a staircase into the block and that's uh, usually a very poor idea. So the natives need to be mindful of that range. Leaf access point. Let's see what sticks. Let's add another prefect just in case. <laughs> it's gonna get cut off, but uh Give yeah. strength of marble and weapons over the sea, that's good. Almost there. Just can't reach. That's uh, unfortunate, I cannot have this row on this side. Well, yeah, it's pretty bad. Formerly the reservoir, I could, I could have it closer a bit. So now we could have had, okay. Well, let's add it again. Gonna... I'm gonna shut it off initially. And we leave a gap. For them, this, this is gonna be difficult to water, but we can do it from downstairs. Don't water yet. Natives. There and then down here, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but we can get it. Yeah, pretty decent. A lot of people come in first. So we can have that. Now we can start watering them again. Need to give them some food. Wheat will do fine, unless it's covered by natives. Three farms. It's still a lot of food. If it's wheat, which it is. This is hardly my eyes a little bit. The road is gonna be pretty bad. But you can cut it off like that. 
No, we cannot get another S too far. Well, okay. Let's just hope it works. <laughs> hope is not usually our most powerful weapon in this game, but it might just work. Accept. Accept. Don't get. We also did really build up on our place for a market, which is not great. I think that's gonna be fine. Let's attack, it's here, okay. Need to be reacting to that. Also might be quite sizable attack. Some pause. Depends where they go. If they want to punch through the walls, that's not gonna be nice. If they go around, that's perfect. like they want to punch through the walls. Some of them do, but they might get triggered by this. Yeah, I think we might be okay. Let's advance. I think they are more outbreaking, most likely. No, this unit is still active. Right. Let them come. The walls did that drop, they almost smashed one piece here. Really. Let them leave. Fortify this a bit more. Where did we end up? Yeah, here. Right, temple. It's gonna be Mars. I kinda want to build a grand temple to Mars just to be safe. But I don't think that's necessary or good for us. Do this. Let's get a warehouse for pottery. Don't trade it. We need a form as well. Let's try to get a bathhouse somewhere. Which is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. should be reaching them with one of his patterns. Just one farm. Good farm up here though. How far can we get it? Very far. We don't really need like obscene amounts of food for that, but uh, some would be good. And later we can maybe bring it over. Ok, 
gonna do another one, just to be safe. This squiggle is gonna be a pain for the walkers. Okay. It's right where I don't want it. Could have it here, I guess. Let's hope these people get some food ever. Yeah, the market is not doing a very good job at that. I want to reposition something. Might be the school actually. Okay, I'll... And then get a market down here. This one's gonna actually get the food. Some gardens. Natives don't care about gardens. Be fine. Eat marble. Send him the marble. One of our objectives is Grand Temple to Mercury, but we rather would want a Coliseum, I think, if we can get it. Yeah, okay. Let's make it happen. Here. But we'll need logistics for that. Oh, first we evolve this block properly and then we'll see. Housing advisor, yeah, quite good. I guess bathhouse. Yes, bathhouse. Uh, is there a way for me to fix that? Probably not. Or a slam. Uh, unless we somehow make this work. I don't have this right here. It's gonna allow prefects and engineers. Yeah. Behind the school. Yeah? Oh, that would be so horrible. There is no space, this is a rock. But, uh, the school should get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we just need to hope that this does its job, which it should. Uh, right. Logistics. That's how I designed my palace blocks, lots of options. No. <laughs> it hurts to think like that. It hurts my Caesar brain. It's okay. It's okay. We are not in Herba's world right now. We in fact do not have to suffer. Because we can remove trees in fact. Constantly remind yourself that there are worse things out there. <laughs> uh, right, water here, yeah, it's gonna be a thing. But also, there has a shit tons of. That rock in the way. Okay, let's just remove that firehouse. Access. Need to build it first, preferably. Before we really do anything else. 
got some marble. Let's get some marble. Marble. Let's get the clay. Let's get timber. Don't trade it. It's gonna be a lot of workers, but it's fine. We should have a lot of workers. Bad house, just make it happen. Go down there. At some point she will. But when? Who knows? Can do it. Yes. Okay. Solves it. People should still be streaming in. There. are. How is that supposed to fit palaces when these are indestructible? Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. But it's also uh, painful just to think like that. <laughs> At least for me. I know for you it's natural. <laughs> but you've been forever changed. Can never be the same. Uh, I cannot do that. Um, I can. I can actually do that. Where something explodes. Here. Why is that? Like for real? <laughs> okay. Okay. I get it. You hate having to do your job. Okay. So yeah, this one goes. We do an academy. Oh, library somewhere. I might actually want to do a bathhouse. Local uprising, that's not good, especially if it's into my patricians. Yeah, of course it is. Okay. Somehow, someone predicted that I'll be building patricians right now. How could it be? Oh, to be frank, the timeline adds up, I guess. We've been here for 200 months. Which is already quite a bit. Let's hope we can reach it in time. We can at least with a couple of units. Okay. Some of them just warped through the diagonal. Okay. Are you in fact building it? Yes. Let's remove the limit on marble. I believe we can afford it now. <laughs> Let's hope we can. It's gonna also accept some marble. I don't pay more in pages. We need to match it or rather exceed it a bit. Their mana is not looking too great. Let's see, there asks for more. Okay. Coliseum is being built though, that's good. I'll start making the patricians now. Where is the tavern? I'll have to build it. Oh, there, I guess. I hope that's. Oh no, it's not everything we need. We only need a hospital as well. And this would block off everything, so we cannot have it there. We need to have it here. I'm just gonna try one market, see what happens. Hospital goes there. We'll need to bring water now, so... Yeah, okay. Let's also maybe stop marble for a moment. I'm worried now, I need to stockpile money. We have 20 in the city. Uh, where is the water? It's here, I think there is a native. I need to take care of. Yeah, this sneaky bugger. Let's 
wait until he's happy. Okay. It always feels wrong building nearby natives, even if they are pacified. <laughs> Just constantly worried. Oh, uh, yeah, there is okay. We can even have it like that, and that would still be fine, I think. No one pile off. Make sure we don't build on natives. That would actually be the worst. Make sure we didn't do a mistake. No, it looks fine. Okay, so we have water now. Add some housing. This one is messed up. Cannot be a thing. Unless we try to build them opposite of each other. No, that is a rock. It's gonna disable that one anyway. Well. Can't have everything we want. Added a road to room destruction protection. So that shouldn't be a <clears throat> that big of a concern nowadays. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, I know about that. It's a good thing So it will notify you before it goes and starts to demolish things. It's very good Love it uh, Money side of things is not good What we need is to, these guys to evolve soon Let's get all their things Just going in a line house. Make sure this does not crumble. They should be getting plenty of things that they like. Okay. This pod house just isn't covered. Uh, if it would be in here, I would be willing to switch it. No, library done. Not there. Come on. Bob house. Okay. Start to import marble again. We have to. Oil is lacking. I didn't start importing freaking olives, did I? Oh no. Okay. These people working in these workshops have been enjoying ages of uh, being paid and had nothing to do. Caesar hates it. Uh, is that because of the marble again? Yes. That is a backlog. I'll just disable it for a moment. I just cannot afford to do marble per year. How much does it cost, anyways? Yeah, it's actually not that expensive. It will rise in price though, I think, quite soon. So we actually need to import more, just so that we can actually, you know, keep him good at life. Just give him a gift. Requests win really tight. Uh, did we build the freaking lighthouse? No, it doesn't want more marble. Okay. It will get more soon. Then just buys more weapons. That's land trade route actually. 
soon to be all houses must have been confused about why I didn't make them into two by two houses. <laughs> yeah, everyone else ever is, but not them. Not them, ever. Bad people. More weapons from Tinges. I need to. Okay, let's just add back some of these. Let's make sure the natives don't get a whiff of that. Now let's hope we can beat this attack without Grand Temple to Mars. You know, it's the best Temple to Mars. Uh, we have two more forts. I'm not gonna be able to do the goal of 150,000 stockpile denari on the stream. But he could. But I'm not going to. If it's a stream, I'm not gonna wait here for our just stockpile. It already took a longer the time than most maps. Most maps I can destroy in two hours and still have some time left, usually. Not so much this one. It's because of the roughness of the terrain. We have some oil now. So they should... oh yeah, school. I didn't build a school. I will just remove... oh no, Mercury will be a thing. Mars? Yeah. Mars, gonna have to suck it. Then make a school. Seeing them play this and taking this long makes me a little surprised that the Asterix map of 3 hours. Well... Asterix was also pretty rough. It had tactical Marox. It, it had everything. But uh, this one is tougher, of course, I'd say. Militarily, not excessive. But uh, just the roughness of the terrain makes everything awkward. Looks much tougher. No, you can do it. You can play this and win. I want you to play this. It's really good. Maybe it's just misguided, <laughs> I don't tell you that, but I don't think it's good. This would be a pain even with tactical boulders, you know. The water restrictions are really tough. Especially if you let a single enemy come through or trigger a single native, they will tear down this aqueduct, which leads to most of your city. It's always fun. Ah, uh, we need more. We need more mines. I'll just use this nate I'll steal the boulder from the natives. There'll be non divisor. Exploit it. Swan Rock is gonna fuel the industry of Isengard. Kinda reminds me of Settlers Mines. Doesn't it? This is kinda similar because Settlers actually came out similar to this. They are not too far away from each other, I don't think. So let's trick the patricians. Into thinking they have more desirability than they really have. I'm missing the food stock piles outside, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Also, not just one guy comes out, more. Oh, it's done. Right. Uh, I have a lot of marble here. Let's stop importing it for a moment. I'm gonna build a Venus Grunt Temple, though. We do need it. I will build it on the natives if I can.
natives is the temple to wealth you cannot say no yes they cannot say no but uh no this is walled off right yeah hmm it's not good i could uh cut off access no i can only if i want to build it there wouldn't make sense uh Venus. The tactical Marox are gonna make this difficult. Hmm, I think the game says no. It would say yes here. Which is kinda fine. Just have it. Second temple of Venus. Also I need to check second type of vine. I haven't really paid attention to that. Hmm. That is wine. Here. Import one. Okay. Move the road next to Colosseum so 2 by 2 can fit. We could, yeah. If it'll want uh, to use this site. She might in the future. For now, let's just leave it. We need money. Uh, the deal. This side. Oh no. Natives are back. I'm really worried this can totally screw you <laughs> up. If it destroys my patricians, I'm gonna be very sad. It's gonna be downright tragic. I think they have correct formations. Natives crunching their way through. Mm, it's a lot of natives. It's a shit ton of natives. Uh, I move this thing. I might die here. So just too many natives. I cannot deal with so many natives. No! Natives are eating my face. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> natives. Yeah. It's just the bane of my cities. It's too many. I should have built a Grand Temple to Mars. Bugger off, bugger. <laughs> Go away, Caesar. <laughs> and some towers? No, towers are a crutch, right? We are fine. Could be much worse. I've rebuilt much worse. It's just, you know, uh, pain. <laughs> Pure pain. What is this? Hedge. Sometimes I just look at this. So how am I gonna rebuild all this? All the food destroyed. Just burnt it. Okay, yeah, well, you can move. Those two. It's good. Wheat. That's oh, good. Vegetables. The patricians are gonna be a mess for the near future. Uh, market. Right. Market. Tavern. Library. Tavern. You can do a library here if you ship this. Then we can do another market instead of that because one is not covering it properly. Where all the warehouses smashed to bits. It's all my goods. It's okay, we can get more. It's just not good. But uh, should be recoverable.
Okay, don't trade it. Furniture. Don't trade it. Vine. And oil. Okay, uh, should have recovered by now. Send him the marble. Hmm, money is looking a little bad now. But, uh, maybe we can recover, yeah. Blessing from Neptune is gonna help. I might have to even do a tax hike. <laughs> yeah, we are paying a lot in pages. Do we'll get it's good soon. Oh no. Something they crashed something here as well. Wheat farm. Wheat farm. And they destroyed the services, right? Okay. Now it's fixed. Just don't explode for a moment. It's a granary for wheat. Uh, okay. I know people hate the taxes. get to things. I guess oil is lacking. Accept. Dumb. Okay, get. Let's a moment. That was almost done. Just needs a little more marble. We'll import a bit. We also probably do have a lighthouse. At this point, no. Needs more marble. It's just, this is not getting it right. It is, it's just, it doesn't manage to get it before the others steal it, I guess. Or somehow... It's just not working out. It should. Maybe there is no... There is an architect on the work camp. Yeah, is it bugged out? Waiting for new instructions, he's not gonna get it. Why? This is connected, right? There's no road uh, connection, but that shouldn't bother him. Yeah, the freak is just not getting things. Uh... This needs to also get some marble done. Okay, patricians again, but very small ones. Need them to actually get better at life. Get on temple down, now we can pick the blessing. Yes, give me that. It's gonna help, yeah, they will evolve. Okay. Can have a small patrician in here if you want to, but it's not really good. They still complain. Let's try to trick them. I think Lararium's are generally better than Hedges. Yeah, okay. This should bring us a lot of money, hopefully. And marble, I guess we construct a new temple. What's the housing advisor saying? We can fit a lot of people. If we do Neptune Temple, it would fit. First, I'm gonna have to do Mars. Most likely, All right? Yeah, I don't wanna, but uh, it's gonna be necessary. Also, I cannot really... Yeah, I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to build some of it here, in this valley.
Natives. It's fine. Mars Temple. Let's bring a road. Build that. Road block it off like crazy. Another attack. It's here, okay. We can do this one, I think. Soldiers are not really uh, that great. If you don't stack the javelins, they are just not that good. The last native attack was terrifying. This one is also gonna be huge. You don't want to build lighthouse by the reservoir point. Yeah, at the time, sure. Spirit of Mars, okay. Lost natives were horrible. Uh, it's gonna get built. It's a prosperity cap. 100. Okay. They are building it. It's already costing me a lot with the marble, but we need it. Send him the pots. Send him whatever, even a gift. It's gonna take him a while, to say the least. Putting all the stuff there. Uh, small force, okay. It's a, is it a trap? I don't remember myself. No. Maybe it's a native trap? If it is, I'm gonna suffer, but... Uh, oh no, I don't have... Uh, training. Okay, let's send three units. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I should really ignore it, but no. Let's try to be a good boy for once. I'm gonna trust myself that I didn't do anything too mean. Money should be getting better with this. Lighthouse. A little bit of marble left to deliver. Done. Come on, be done. Another stage. Okay. Money. Yeah. Let's do it. Save the city. Lighthouse is done. We need to pick the capacity upgrade. I'm not gonna build the Mercury Temple, I don't think. Just I need other temple since that. I need my Neptune temple to win. I don't want to do another block currently. But maybe we do that. I don't know. Could fit some people around here actually. It's not the best idea. It's actually fairly flat. Compared to other stuff we had to deal with. Oh uh, well, what's the fountain access? Around here, not good. Well, it could fit some housing around here, but it's really bad. Mm. Okay, we could just bring it here, build this up, I guess. Mm. But that's gonna take me ages. You know, I have time, but uh, you know, the longer I stay, the higher chance I'm gonna get just absolutely obliterated by natives if they come into my patricians. <laughs> Of course, all the natives come from here. <laughs> you know, natural order of things. Natives belong in the Patrician block. I 
I could just add blabs somewhere and it would be fine, but I didn't really want to. To Empire. It's not good. Okay, it's new Empire, so. Oh, let's do Neptune as well. Getting an opener kit. Fit this thing. Hmm. I really don't want to build it somewhere stupid, but uh, this, <laughs> I this makes me a little bit worried. But I think we are we are gonna be fine. Let's do that. Hey Baron, welcome. How do you do? Fish. Can I have the fish? I actually don't have that much fish in here. It's here. It's here. Might be huge. I don't like him attacking from here. Well, nowhere else either for this matter. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Does it? Good, good. Obscene Lapis with holiday stuff. I can imagine. Replace the barricades with real walls. Uh, no. Maybe. I don't know. No. I don't wanna. Uh, did I open this up? No. That's a shame. Could have had some bars on there. We could have them here. If any of them are gonna become operational. Or if you can even, you know, build them. Uh, it's just like one and it's blocked by trees everywhere. It's not good. Okay, let's just hope it works out. Just full and hopium. Spirit of Mars helps, yeah, we are fine, I think. X-Men are coming. Okay, it's fine. The X-Men did kill a lot, but... Uh, looks like you have four small temples in the ballast block. Could open up. Yeah, but four is what they want for the highest evolution, don't they? It's four, right? They don't want five, but I already don't have one in there. Because it's five gods. Just let them build various things. Marble is fine. Have I stopped? Yeah, I need to import full amounts again. But there's three. I think it was four, but I'm not sure. I might be wrong. Mm, I could one, put one here. It's correct. Space that's unused. Most exposed area, I guess. We are not like totally slamming in labor, but that's fine. Neptune Temple is gonna buff it up, anyways. This could also be a pretty dangerous area if they mass. This map, I thought, it, I thought it looked familiar. Yeah, it's the map I made for you, I think. Yeah, I think so. Might be off. Not that I remember some of the old stuff anymore. I 
Maybe we can gift him something? Yeah. Let's change of the Emperor. Definitely sent it to me to play, yeah. It's a pretty good one. No regular stuff, only pain. Just what you usually enjoy, like the irregular blocks. It's basically all line blocks. This one actually is kind of neat in that it's only a line block, but because how it's connected, there are blocks and allow uh, it will turn some of the walkers into forest walkers midway through and they will do the whole round. It's kind of good. Oh, what was it? Grand Temple, right. Consumption reduction. Quartz. And we'll probably have to add a couple more farms if we don't do soldiers to start about. One works, but it's really hideous. Okay. Not to mention this thing. I don't think this should be a thing, but let's just do it. Don't question it. Don't question it. Fine. Nastiness isn't all that bad. Yeah, it isn't, uh, but. Some of the things are pretty mean, like the first attack is kinda big and it will ransack your food and then leave. So I had to do that. Just let... I, d I did have three forts, but two of them were not full yet. To full capacity, so I got destroyed and then they destroyed part of my stuff and left. And then... I mean, yeah, you cannot fit anything regular. Ah, uh, but you have plaza. No statues, though. That's kind of blows. Uh, right. Neptune. Then we don't need Mercury after that. <laughs> statues is just rude. Makes you, it forces you to be good at life by improvising and using the myriad of other options for desirability. Not that many of them are viable here, to be frank. Okay, this is not the greatest place we get attacked from, but we have more forts now, so I think we'll be okay. These are not rotated though. If only there was a key, a rally all military forts to this style and click. And all of them would go to a single spot. And uh, maybe they don't want you to do that, but that's the only way, like, that's how you... That's how you life with military. So, you do that anyways. <laughs> okay, natives. Oh no, no, it's uh, goals. Or hell bad. It's a lot of axe, man. But uh, we should be fine. I believe. Okay. That's done. Go back. We don't have the Mercury, where do we build that thing? In here, I guess, but it's uh, like really long way. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna even make it, but it's a goal. Goal size sacred, I guess. So I'll have to do it. Mm. I really don't want to. Well, stop bitching, do it. If the Marocs allow. That 
doesn't matter. The roads don't connect to anything. Can you bind forts to keys? We have space over the palaces now. Yeah, here we could have had one, that's true. I could maybe bind the forts to keys. I don't know, I never did that. Hot keys, um, go to city map, overlays, military, advisors, construction, city, global. It's building. You can bookmark four things, but that's not, you know, no. Yeah, I don't think you can, because otherwise I would. Kinda having a long time actually, but uh, we should be fine. On some maps you get this amount of time to complete them in their entirety, so we should be fine. It's also tailored, so we'll get a bunch of requests for favor. That's fine. What's not fine is this. <coughs> Why is that? Okay. I guess it just happened. Let's just add a new one. It's okay. Does anybody know how much culture 14,000 population would usually need? Well, like if you don't want spamming. It depends on the housing level. The culture is always... Relative. I don't actually have that much culture because I am only small insulate. So I'm 67 because I don't have libraries in my blocks, but I didn't spam any culture and I'm 67. Make a ton of sense to bind forts to hotkeys in the build max 8, then 20 forts you have with the Grand Temple. You can have 4 more and you have 6 base, so 10. But 10 is a lot if I if there is multiple attacks. I need to constantly go and, you know, do things. Instead, I just press 1, rotate rotate their formation and place them. It would be much faster. Like, if they are all over the map, which here they are, it takes a long time for me. I hate it. I hate micro. Yeah. Of course. Select them, press 1, and instantly, boom, you have them on your mouse and just drop the banner anywhere you want. Yeah, no, culture goal is better. Like, even the culture proves absolutely nothing. Because if some people would, like, incorporate into the city and then it's kind of proving, yeah, you can take it, extra labor costs and things. But what I will do if I am tight on the map, I will do, like, yeah, just leave, leave it until the culture is the last thing ever and then go build a hum hideous thing that's only comprised of culture stuff. And then it's boom, one month, and then it's done. It doesn't prove anything. It doesn't even need full labor. I can just disable other industry. Oh no. Two local uprising. Okay. Game says no to my existence. I'll have to hold with four. And it's on the patricians, right? No, it's here. Okay. I guess I can sacrifice one more. Come there. Shame there is not no chariots. It's my city. What do you expect? I'm not fond of building. Horrible things. Rise, rise, and marble. Spirit of Mars. Okay. Another attack. Is it here? No. It's here. Okay. No, it's not okay. It's horrible, but let's see. They'd handle this easy. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't even reach this. They would still be on their way while the natives would be happily ransacking my only aqueduct that's connecting my entire city, you know? So please, stop. Stop. Christ's sake. Each time. 
each time I have to listen to Hera say, I'm tired, I'm tired. I don't want to hear it anymore. Just please can you remove them from the game. <laughs> or make them good at life. <laughs> they are so horrible. They are the 9x9s of the military in this game. You know that, right? <laughs> Misguided to the core. Uh... They don't prove their world on my map to mandatory such words. No, they didn't. And you know it. It almost cost me one of the attacks because they just couldn't couldn't reach the place of the fight, even with the highway. Would you use them if they were quick as javaniers? I would use them if they were a little bit faster than they are right now. Just give them slight boost. But even with the highway, they, they didn't arrive in time. They're just not good enough to justify it. Because they get overwhelmed on any good custom map, the attacks are big. And that means that they just die. Like, did you see some of the maps I played recently? Like the one where you get attacked by 4 max size invasions per year? What do you think is gonna happen in War of Attrition? If you take any losses, you will die. Legionary is not so good at not taking a uh, punch to the face. It's kinda their thing. So, you can expect what's gonna happen. The last one. I think this is the last simultaneous attack. It's gonna. It's there to prove that you have defenses everywhere. We have Grand Temple to Mars though. So it should be fine. Leave those. Too small for Mike to control now. <laughs> Place my map, I'm sure. <laughs> they are horrible. Just stop talking about them. <laughs> I said it once. Why do I have to listen to heresy? Why do you have to advocate for horrible things? You cannot advocate for horrible things. This is... No. I've moved one of the forts from now after Mark's feedback, yeah. Because it's not just my feedback, you could have seen they didn't reach the attack point in time. After the fight was over they showed up, as is their custom. I loved him as a child. Yeah, but that's that's different, you know. Just let's be honest here, okay? Just tell me what you honestly think about the freaking legionaries. There is only one right answer, by the way. <laughs> They make great tanks, but if they take damage, they die and cannot replenish if the map is heavy into military, which makes them burst at the maps they are supposed to be good at, you know? And on top of that, their speed kills their efficiency, unless you place the fort nearby the invasion point. And guess what? There are multiple invasion points on most maps. Therefore, if they are nearby one edge, what do you think is gonna happen when they have to reach the other side of the map? <laughs> when the javelineers arrive just in time? <laughs> it's just so ridiculously bad, I just... I feel like I've described it plenty of times, but I do really believe that these reasons make them absolutely unusable on most custom maps. Uh, what did I want to do? Yeah, housing advisor. Mm, we don't have Neptune in all the blocks, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Series. I'm just gonna uh, build something horrible here. You will be replaced. You will be replaced. You will be replaced. The jealousness is gonna be through the roof, but nobody cares. The only thing that's really needed is uh, you know, capacitor at this point. So that's all of our plebs. And then um, these guys, they have Mars. Let's make him shift there. 
Neptune is gonna be loving to high life. Hey there, welcome. Are you shitting all engineers again? They don't need to be shat on. They shit on themselves by being horrible at everything they do and supposed to be good at. They don't need shitting on, it's just people bring it up because they want... I don't know, they for some reason want to convince me, but they are misguided. I, I suspect it's just for the fact of triggering me because there is no way somebody really thinks they are good, you know? It's just, you know, Mark has had it too good, let's just drive him insane. That's what the steam cooler needs. Internet rants a lot. Yeah, clearly. Also, I enjoy not being good at life a lot. Uh, okay, build things. Just a bit of nice, right? <laughs> Maybe. Well, I don't want to encourage you, but. <laughs> No. <laughs> I cannot even read chat anymore. <laughs> it's really not good. So misguided. Okay, pay them more. It's fine. Favor. Don't have enough. Guards are getting angry. I'll have to do some oracles. Keep them in line. <laughs> Baron. Baron is enjoying torturing me. It's okay. I've tortured him plenty of times. Especially that the uh, maps. You know what I do generally believe they are good. It's just, you know, sometimes what you believe is not correct. my uh, Grand Temple to Neptune here because it's too far. The, the architects and workers cannot really reach. I can only have one of this building. I don't have... Oh yeah, um, sorry for that. Mercury, is it? Yeah. Most useless Grand Temple. Uh, let's build it. So it's uh, what we need. And the Oracle should... Make everything good. What about the housing now? 9,000. We still need more. Uh, small hovel. We have some castle as well. It's horrible. Why is that? It shouldn't be the case. This market suddenly decided that it's gonna do a different path. Why? How? No. You are not supposed to do that. Uh, how do we solve it? Solve it. I can. This is... Okay. Let's just do it. It's not gonna be good though because they hate it. They hate the market. Maybe form instead and then try to have a school here and then this can become a market and then if we gave them venus that would actually solve it but i cannot give them two temples this is like insanely tight mm. i could try it here but uh that's not really very good you know oh yeah Whatever works. Good. So what now? 9,100. Okay. We need more. I was thinking squeezing in a suboptimal patrician in here, but that's just still not enough. Just have to do some plebs. It might finish the map with freaking tent block though. It's not what I want. Natives? No. No natives. Kill the forum, you don't really need a tax money. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say that. The money might seem fine, but it's not fine. 
we are paying insane wages. 18,000 in wages. <laughs> and we are making 15,000 in taxes. Levy is... 5,000? That's a lot of money. Terrain is always a... Oh, the terrain? Yes, it is. It's okay, though. E. That's fine. We can just add people in here. I still think the gods are a little bit feisty. They just hate the jealousy. Okay. It doesn't need to be huge. Quite the contrary, actually. It needs to be very small. Let's give them this thing. Give them a granary that's gonna get wheat. Warehouse. Come on. Let's go get pottery. No traders. Connect it. Get all the various things. Plaza. School. Theater. It's gonna be horrible. Yeah, it's just a very bad place to have anything in LA. It's gonna have to be small castle. Bathhouse. Market. <laughs> Evolving to the gaitest housing of all. <laughs> okay. This is my revenge on Baron for talking about Chetty on Airs too much. No, I'll I'll keep it. I hate it, it hurts my soul. But you, you need to be rubbed down a peg. <laughs> no. They are staying. Look at Beautiful. Mm, not really, even it's... Should have been struck by lightning at this point. Because this was a horrible lie. It's the worst. Never ever should you do that. Also, I've connected this now. That's not nice, but... Some evolutions might actually be useful. Another question, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, is there a maximum trade amount for good uh, in a route or can demand rise infinitely? It cannot rise infinitely if you are not using uh, hex editing or uh, custom empires, uh, which is the XML editing in Augustus. Your trade goods are capped at 40 max for a uh, good. Have tried any custom empire maps yet? Oh yes, Fairbice map was a custom empire. I need to, if you have time, carry. I posted a question. If it's not answered yet, I'm gonna check it. I need to make another video for uh, YouTube about uh, custom empires and the trade quotas you can have there. I have a question on test three discussion in the Discord. Could you answer it if you know the answer for it? So I can start making it. I've made some videos for some of the things, like the health system, but uh, we need to trade things. People keep asking about it a lot. Yeah, we did try that one. Not only tried, but have beaten. Hey, Jibiko, welcome. It's a difference. Someone from EVE Online, clearly. That's where that salute is from. Also, there's a tent. I don't like it. Just remove it from existence. 
give him a gift. He's gonna ask for something soon, I think. And then we are gonna be fine. If he built this, at least we have another goal. The only goal I'm not gonna do is stockpile money for 10 years. For the 150,000. Okay. We completed a milestone or something. Emperor's Gratitude, actually. Alright, uh, tough map. Uh, 3 hours, 38 minutes. We uh, haven't died once, but uh, quite difficult. Let's accept the promotion to a clerk. I haven't had a good look at the custom empire code, so I'd rather wait until the real or flower answer that. You know how it works. Okay. No problem. I hope they get around to it eventually. I'm sure they will. Unless the post get ba gets badged. Alright, so I guess we can take a look at the map as a customer. It's a save too. Yeah, so the initial money is uh, not that high. Makes for an interesting challenge, in my opinion. The most interesting thing is uh, the terrain on this map, water restrictions and such. I've seen some people squeeze in a small casa block around here and feed it by fish. But I didn't really want to do that. So we had our plebs in here. Plus we had some over here as well. It's a pretty decent spot. Not the greatest. But yeah, this initial place is just made for it. Even though you cannot really squeeze in a regular block and then a mistake would leave, leave you with each inefficiencies. The clay is very sneaky. Initially, if you don't notice that, that's a pain. But it's noticeable if you know what you are looking for. But this one is like very sneaky. There is more clay here. These outcroppings, we've also used that. And then you can also like set up a bunch of clay here and use that and just have a bunch of warehouses bring it to the exit point. I did that in the end, kinda, but you can do it much sooner if you want to, which is kinda useful. We didn't trade with the natives, it wasn't really necessary. They are not allowing for a very quick warehouse access anyways. Apart from that, militarily, actually tougher than I expected. Some of the attacks were brutal, the natives into the patricians were horrible. But yeah, pretty recent. I actually would recommend this map for anyone who gets tired of regular blocks, because you cannot build anything regular on this map. Apart from maybe the patricians, but even then, the director Clorox are always there. So, anyways, that's gonna be it for Caesar for today. We've played it for quite a bit. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So, let's resolve the prediction. Where is it? We did beat it. Nobody bet it against me, which is surprising. This map wasn't easy by any stretch. But some people just don't want to risk it. Uh, Destination Walker Block City. Yeah, uh, this is tailored for it pretty much. Spot on. So, yeah. See you around. I will send you off to someone else though. If you want some extra points, stick around. You'll be dating. Uh, what do you guys want? Uh, Kaladin with Rail Railroad Tycoon 2 or El Coro the Tactics Ogre? Yeah, no problem, Kerry. Always glad to entertain, if possible. I think at least some moments were entertaining. Kaladin? Okay. Straight Kaladin. Patrician has spoken. <laughs>